is how I play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone. Warning. What you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? Alright. That's... Sounds good to me. I just need to warn all of you guys of something. Pretty important. If you were someone who was watching my streams a year ago, <clears throat> okay? Um, I don't know how many of you will be affected by this because I just was. And I don't want you guys to be hit by something you're not aware is going to happen. So, one year ago, around this time, alright, I was playing Plants vs. Zombies, okay? And I was one of the few people actually playing Plants vs. Zombies. I, you know, a lot of people had just kind of gave it a shot. And played it once or twice. And, uh... Anyway, the reason I'm saying this is very simple. Um, it's bullshit. And you don't deserve to be charged for something you didn't authorize. Like, just happened to me. Okay? So, one year ago, I'm sitting here on stream. I'm playing Plants vs. Zombies, whatever this game was. The official EA Twitch Twitch account came onto this channel. And handed out a ton. It wasn't like one. They handed out, like, a ton of EA access codes to myself and my viewers. EA Play, EA Access, I don't even know what the hell it's called. Okay? Um, and we thought it was something nice. Like, wow, what do we get? Are you gonna get some free games? And yeah, it was basically your backlog. Um, your backlog of old EA games could be played via this subscription service or whatever it was. Normally, this is something I would obviously never do. Why would I pay a subscription service to play old EA games, right? It makes no sense. Um, but... They handed out all these one-year free memberships. And by the way, that's how they explained it. They said, here, you're all getting a one-year free membership code of EA Play, EA Access, whatever you want to call it. So, of course, everyone here did it. We all got the codes. We entered it into our PlayStation accounts, and we all got a free year of EA Play or whatever it's called. All right? Not once were we ever prompted during this that this was an auto-renew. Not once did they ever say you would ever be charged for it. It was, you know, for example, if you get a PS PlayStation Network code, for Xbox or for a year of PlayStation Network, and you enter it in, it gives you a year and then it expires. It doesn't set you up for an auto renewal. That's a scam, right? That is a definite scam. I never authorized it. I never signed an agreement saying I'm entering into a recurring service. Never. All I did was enter in a code. It said get one year of EA whatever, and I signed up. That was it. <laughs> okay. Um. So I just got charged for a year renewal. That's bullshit. I never authorized it. Not once, because if it was, I would not have done it. When I was entering the code, if it said, this is setting you up for auto-renewal, I would have denied it, because I didn't need the EA Play or EA Access anyway. In fact, I've never used it. In the whole fucking year that I had it, I never used a damn thing. Alright? This is a scam. White people are entitled, and they complain about things, and they call them Karens. They only care about themselves and their own personal rights and shit. They don't care about anyone else. This is, oh, let's go on Twitch and hand out a bunch of our free codes in the hope that no one will pay attention and they'll all get charged next year for it. That is one of the most underhanded fucking ways I've ever seen a game company make money ever. And I'll tell you this right now, if the official EA account ever comes back to my streams, I will permanently fucking ban them from this chat. I'm not going to have my viewers or myself scammed by a company trying to make a buck and buck on behalf of my viewership. They can go fuck themselves. The money is mine and I want the money. All right. That is bullshit. So how much was it? Thirty two ninety nine plus tax. So like thirty, like what is that? Thirty three. I think it's probably like thirty five bucks, right? Fuck that. Seriously, absolutely no way is a company gonna come in here and fucking scam myself and my viewers thirty five dollars. I guarantee you I'm not the only one because everyone got one. Everyone who was watching me play Plants vs Zombies got a code, and we probably all entered it thinking, oh, this is great, a freebie, you know? That is fucked up.
right? And I did, and by the way, to confirm, I never entered any payment information for this thing. What happened was it was a PlayStation Network code. You entered the code and it gave you the year, but it set it up behind the scenes automatically without telling you to auto renew and it auto charged whatever your default payment method is for PlayStation Network. That's illegal. That is fucking illegal. So fuck EA and I'm never having them come in here ever again. I hope they don't get any fucking ideas of trying to scam myself or my viewers because they're out of here. That's the most underhanded thing I've ever heard in my fucking life. The baby wouldn't shut the fuck up yelling for seven fucking hours straight. Wah, wah. Shut the fuck up. God damn. Wah, wah. Oh my god. That is unfucking real So anyway, I'm just warning you. All right. This is absolutely ridiculous. And, uh, you know, do I really think... Do I really think that I'm going to get my money back? No. Because I can't complain to EA. The only place I can complain to is PlayStation Network. That's it. <laughs> so, I'm not going to get my money back. I just got robbed of $35. Which sucks, because we're at $51 in tips. So, guess what? Guess what I got screwed over with again for? You see, every day this is ridiculous. Now, I get charged back by motherfuckers behind the scenes. Now, today, we're having a good stream. Oh, more than oh, half the money you raised today is gone now, Phil, because these motherfuckers scammed you. Right? I'm tired of this shit. I'm tired of this shit. I can't call my card company because it charged my fucking PayPal account. That was my default method of payment for PlayStation Network, and Play PayPal is not going to reverse the charges. So, I got fucked. Anyway, that's just, I wanted to tell you and warn you. Alright, I guess if it sounds too good to be true, you're fucked. If it sounds too good to be true, you're fucked. Don't ever accept it. I'm not anymore. I'm done with it. I'm not falling for any more bullshit. I had to go to my, I had to log into my PlayStation account and go to the subscriptions tab, which no one ever would even look at. And there it is. I have an EA Play subscription. No, I don't. I never signed up for it, you piece of shit. So I turned it off auto renew. Now I have an EA Play for another year. Guess how many times I'll use it? Zero. So they fucked me. <laughs> Unreal. I'm not a whiny baby. I'm a mature adult with a business degree. Um, I would really appreciate tips. If you guys could tip me tonight, I would appreciate it. Um, earlier today, I lost about $35 to EA's scam. I e-bag, right? You're constantly asking your viewers and your fans for contribution. What pasta do you prefer? Tip the dollar says, have I tried to look for a P have I applied for a PPP loan? It says, it's businesses that have suffered because of COVID. No, I'm not doing that. My business did not suffer because of COVID. My business actually got increased stuff this year because of COVID. So I'd be blatantly fucking lying if I applied for that loan. And I'm not going to steal money from the hands of people who need it because I'm not a scumbag. So no, I did not apply, and I will not be applying for that loan. A uh, big fat jiggly cheer, and he says, "If you go back in time and talk to yourself at the start of your YouTube channel, what would you say?" Oh man, you know what? Well, honestly, you want to know what I would say, and this is the truth of the matter. I would say be careful about what you put out there because people are going to use every single piece of information that you put out on the internet as a, something as a negative and spin it a negative way about you. I love Hulk Hogan's dick. Because I'll tell you guys, all the shit that I put out there over the years, I never suspected people would would twist words. People would say and do the stuff they did to me. People would use, you know, a, a vlog from 10 years ago as some kind of a negative. You know what I mean? Like, it's just insane the way that, that the internet can go crazy. When I started, everyone was on my side. Everyone liked my content. And then all of a sudden at some weird... All of a sudden at some point, people decide that I'm now going to be the whipping boy of the fucking internet. And everyone's just going to constantly make fun of me and say my content sucks and, and you know, fuck around. I'm the lol cow. They call me a lol cow. Phil is a lol cow, and Phil's the lol cow of the gaming community. They just like to laugh, and they, oh, he's the lol cow or whatever, right? Dark side, Phil the lol cow. Lol cow, lol cow. When in reality, you know, what, what did I change? Nothing. I was the same guy. I didn't change anything I did. I was just doing the same kind of content. I was enjoying life, you know, hopefully putting out stuff people liked, which obviously, they, I still had an audience. It's just that people just decided to, to turn my, say, oh, Phil's the joke now. Like, okay. Well, I certainly wasn't expecting that kind of, uh crazy flipping attitude towards me, you know? And because of that, people went back and, and used all the stuff that I had shared over the years as negatives and things to insult me and just really fucked up. Um, <clears throat> and I never expected that would happen, by the way. I need to get up there. In 2017, the bottom fell out on YouTube. They lost most of their major advertisers and it became completely impossible for someone like me to still make a living doing YouTube full time. So I said, I gotta do something different and drastic. I changed myself. I evolved. I became a full-time beggar. You know, when I was putting that stuff out early 10 years ago, I was innocent. You know, I was like, dude, this is just nothing serious. It's just a joke. People just like whatever I do for whatever reason. I don't know why people like me, but they apparently do on the internet. So I'll just put out silly shit. And then, you know, 
it's just ridiculous how how toxic it got. You know, the internet changed. Cause internet completely changed their attitude towards me. Where it was at one point, one day, Phil's the ultimate underdog. We support who he is and what he does. That he's not corporate. You know, and then within a few years, wow, we're... Phil's just a fucking a boring old man. He puts out content with no effort. We don't like him anymore. Like, what happened? I didn't change. So what the fuck happened? It was the attitude of the internet changed completely. Within like two, three years, it was like a completely different place. It seriously was. It was like different culture and everything. A whole new generation stepped up to kind of take over the internet. And tons of dumb people have fucking left. Why do you think they're my detractors now? And when that changed for me, it was like, damn. And just seeing how the stuff that I've done over the years was then twisted and contorted into stuff that was negative, it blew me away because I never thought that that would happen. Um, not in my wildest dreams. So, you know, me kind of being innocent and naive in my early days as a content creator and not realizing that every little piece of the stuff that I put out there could actually be used against me came back to bite me in the ass. And that's what I would tell a young Phil 10, 10, 11 years ago is not don't do content creation, but be careful what you put out there because sadly, the more you reveal of your private life, the more it will be used against you over the years to hurt you, right? And you need to put defenses up and have a line. What I would say is a work-life balance because I don't have a work-life balance. I didn't back then. Now I, now I have more of a work-life balance. I wish I had even more. But back then, I had zero work-life balance. It was just work, 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 work. Like, my work was my life. A self-help book. Work-life balance for idiots. <laughs> work-life balance for idiots. There you go. Oh, my God. Whoa. That... What the fuck? Um... I don't think that's what was supposed to happen. Uh... I think we might have a slight issue here. <laughs> How does this always happen to me? What the fuck? I fused through the floor. I can actually see a di completely different room under me that I remember being in before. I'm not supposed to be here. Whee! Oh my god, are you kidding me? Look at this! <laughs> uh, well. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we've beaten Batman Arkham City. We've done it. <laughs> Get those bolas. My real name is Bozo. And I have a big honking red nose and big floppy clown shoes. You know, you guys have been asking me for two years what kind of car I drive. It's a clown car. It's a clown car and I only drive around with about 14 other clowns inside. So when the door opens, we all come spilling out comedically. Um, I have a flower on my chest that I squirt water from. And I'm an expert at making balloon animals. Oh fuck, what the hell? Where did this come from? I'm dead. I'm done. I can't, even, I can't even escape. I didn't know there were a bunch of dudes there. I was just trying to get the fucking trophy. It's WWE Champions time. I love it. I love it. Phil has indoctrinated children who send him money. Blatantly milking for money. It's a money pit. It's gone. Just gone like that. In an instant. Fucking gone. I just care about money. That I just can't help it. I eBay. Contributions are mandatory, but I need your help. I am appealing directly to you. No decency, no respect, no common sense, no fucking maturity. It's the guy who just doesn't get reality.